The following contains footage from M-rated games and scenes of intense violence. Viewer discretion advised. going to be in the same game as those smelly 8-bit monsters. Gross. What? Gross. Is it because I have an underbite and I'm gay? Get used to it. Can you dig it? What is this, 1979? Let's kill somebody! The more blood I see, the more clothes I lose! I gotta see the boobs! Kill that zombie! Hey, I'm just trying to help you guys! Yeah, <laughs> Throw this one game crap. I got miles to Come on! Wario! Mountain play, yay! Oh, we were doing so well! Welcome to the 2005 Video Game Awards. It is so great to be here tonight celebrating video games. That's right, video games. The thing that is killing your brain cells and ruining society has its own damn award show. Spike is badass, man. <laughs> I heard next week they're doing cigarettes and liquor awards. 
And what a great time to be a gamer. Every new game outdoes the one before it. Graphics are amazing, and the games are so realistic. I had to stop playing Madden the other day after Terrell Owens jumped out, demanded to be traded to Splinter Cell, and he wanted more money. But I love video games. My favorites are sports games and shooters. But busy man like me doesn't have time for both. That's why I came up with my own game. It combines my two favorite pastimes, golf and killing people. Samuel L. Jackson's PGA Tour of Duty. The terrorists have taken over Augusta National Golf Course and you have to play all 18 holes while hunting their punk asses with your 12-gauge firewood. It's not gonna be easy because the terrorists have booby-trapped the course with landmines. You lose a stroke, you lose your legs. But don't worry, your caddy is a ninja, and when you kill a terrorist, you get to say something cool like, uh, yes, you deserve to die, and I hope you burn in hell! <laughs> and, uh, after that, you get fitted for a Kango hat. Can you dig that? <laughs> All right, let's start this party.